Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be doing a kit bash with some Matchbox and a Hot Wheels. I'm going to be using the Matchbox biplane there. This Hot Wheels 63 Studebaker Champ and an old Matchbox flatbed trailer. And I'm going to be putting them all together like this. So the champ is towing around the biplane. I don't know if this is a real way you'd tow around a biplane. Who knows? That's the great thing about playing with toys. Okay, so I'm starting out taking apart this Hot Wheels Studebaker champ. And Hot Wheels have been making this model since 2011. So I've just drilled out the posts there and then I can take it all apart. I'll do the same with the trailer. It's just two rivets holding the wheels on. And of course the same with the biplane as well. Just working out how to take off the wings here. They don't pop over the back. But when I take the interior and the prop off the front, they come off. Right, now that those are taken apart, I can use some paint stripper to strip the paint off of the castings. Here they are after I've washed all the wrinkly paint and paint stripper off. Still some paint and oxidation all over them, so I'll give them a further clean up with a wire brush on my Dremel. Here they are looking nice and shiny and burnished. Next, I've cut out a piece of styrene sheet here to go over the rear of the Studebaker. Next, I drilled a hole in it and I've glued a trailer hitch on there. The trailer will go in here like this and you can see there's enough room for it to move around. I cut the rear off the interior with my craft knife. Now that'll fit in there with the windscreen and my customized deck cover and 
trailer hitch. And I also drilled and tapped the posts so I can put it back together again later with some little button head screws. Onto the base of the Studebaker, I'll just pop the wheels and axles out. And I replace the little tabs there with some brass rod for axle tubes. Now I can move on to some paint. Start out with some grey primer over the body of the truck, followed by some white. Then I painted the whole thing in a nice bright red. Now I'm going to use some white decal paper to apply some stripes along the side. Here I've designed some logos, Die Fast Aeronautics, and also the Studebaker text to go on the rear there. This was all fixed with some gloss varnish. The base was hit with some black primer and then I painted it silver. I painted the interior with white and red. There was a little bit of detailing there just on the steering wheel and the gear shift. Here's the original wheels from the Studebaker. They're not too bad with that good year on them, but I'm going to be replacing them with these aftermarket ones. I hit the trailer with some black primer, followed by dull aluminium. And then I added a couple of little logo decals to the trailer finish that with a semi-gloss varnish. The body parts of the plane were with some white primer and then the same red as the Studebaker. Again I've used some white decal paper to add some stripes. Print out the Die Fast Aeronautica livery on some clear decal paper. And I'll apply this over the white stripes on the side there. I add a couple of white stripes to the top of the wings. Onto the interior of the plane. There's the little pilot in there. I don't really want him sitting in there while it's being towed around by the truck. So I'm going to cut him out. Start out with a craft knife to remove the bulk. my Dremel to get into the tighter areas. And 
I add a new floor in there out of styrene. And I hit the whole lot with some black primer. Painted the engine at the front there with a dark silver. I think it was burnt iron. And I'm going to use some silver weathering powder to highlight it. And also some metallic blue on the windows there. And I fixed it all with a satin varnish. And finally, there was the prop for the plane. I painted that white. And I just detailed the cone on the front in red. Right, so there's all the fiddly work done. And here's all the parts of our Matchbox biplane repainted and customized. And here's the parts of our Hot Wheels Studebaker and the little flatbed matchbox trailer. So here's a quick look back at what we started with. And this is how it came out after the custom makeover. The crazy lads at Die Fast Aeronautics ready to tow their biplane off to the Aero Club for some crazy aerobatic antics. As always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. A massive shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. Thanks heaps for helping to support the channel. Check out the link in the description below if you'd like to help out as well. Thanks heaps to you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see similar stuff, remember to subscribe. And check out the main page of the channel. You'll find heaps of other videos about customizing and restoring diecast.